guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna focus on five tips to help you elevate your makeup game. I get questions all the time about how can I make my makeup better. You guys love my base. You guys know that's what I focus on. So these tips are gonna help you elevate your base game. Let's go. So number one, I definitely have to say that skincare, hands down, you have to be taking care of your skin internally, externally for the best makeup application. Um, as you guys can see, you know, this base is laying really, really nice. It was applied well, but when it comes down to it, the texture looks amazing because, you know, I keep myself hydrated. I exfoliate for the texture and then use different masks and you can have naturally good skin and still really need a good moisturizer, good diet, drink water. What you do right before you do your makeup a lot of times can really, really elevate. So actually on my face today, I'm using the Peter Thomas Roth, the seven types of collagen cream and this makes your face just so plump and so smooth. And over time, it just lush and full. I absolutely love this. I also love the serum. Um, I use a really, really great exfoliator from Najee Cosmetics, and it is just gritty enough. It's not too fine and gritty to where it can, like, make your face raw in spots because sometimes that really, really fine moisturizer is, I mean, exfoliator, they're great, but if you overuse them or you use them while you're using like an acid or some AHA or even a vitamin C, it can really, really irritate your skin. So definitely skincare first. And skin prep, you know, hydrating sprays and of course moisturizers, tiny bits of oil. You don't need to weigh your face down with oil. Um, and of course, good primers, a good primer that fits your skin type. Next up, I definitely wanna say investing in these products. A lot of people come to me for dupes and they wanna know what's the drugstore version of my favorite thing and how can they create my face for less. And all I have to say is, and this is not gonna be a statement that can fit everybody, but it's going to be able to fit a few of you. And I feel like if we trade off where we're investing, you can afford such better quality of makeup just wears better it's a better experience you just look and feel so confident and amazing and i'm not saying that drugstore doesn't make great makeup because they do and in a lot of occasions all the factors have to be in your favor for drugstore makeup to not only look great but wear well you know when you're being really active or when you're in a lot of elements or if you have aging skin or if you have a troubled skin type you are gonna wanna invest in the best, as my phone says, true. You're gonna wanna invest in the best products you can. And if you can invest in better things by trading off extra coffee or handbags or shoes, or when somebody says, what do you want for your birthday? You know, tell them you want some good makeup. A, a Sephora gift card makeup that costs a bit more because it performs better. And I really, really feel like when it comes to dupes and stuff like that, there aren't a lot of, there aren't a lot of drugstore dupes for the highest quality of makeup. It may be similar packaging, there may be a similar colorway, but do understand that that performance over time, it's gonna be different. You know, there are the few exceptions. So this is something that I see a lot. You know, when it comes to doing the base of your makeup, I see a lot of people opting to use way more concealer. And I'm just like, well, certain situations, you are absolutely in need of color corrector. There's no amount of concealer that is going to cover. This phone is doing so much right now. So my next tip is definitely to go more toward color corrector and less toward concealer. A lot of the times you are needing to color correct an area, a dark spot, an area of grayness, dullness. And I think a lot of people tend to think, okay, I'm gonna add more concealer to cover that or to balance that. And I'm just gonna lay it up there and it's gonna stay perfect because I'm gonna put a lot of powder on it. And then your makeup's like really, really heavy. You have a mask. There's like the makeup that didn't blend into your skin and then you have makeup on top of that to kind of make sure everything lays flat. And you guys already know, especially if you took my course, that 
if you color correct tiny bits after you do your foundation and then do your center color and your highlight color that your makeup is going to look tremendous like a lot of people will look at this face some of you guys know it's beat because i beat it on instagram but a lot of people will look at this face and think i don't know what they'll think you know what i mean i think a lot of people see my foundation thinks it looks natural and assume that i don't have a lot of product on or people see that this is beat and it's just laying but there's a good amount of product up here my foundation appears natural but believe me there's very little of my natural skin showing through I have a new black spot that I didn't really go out of the way to cover because it's in a flattering area so it can almost look like a beauty mark or a mole so I'm not like hard-pressed to cover it but it's beat and I really feel like a lot of that has to do to I don't use a lot of concealer you know, I go my base color, I do my center color, and then I do my highlight. But between those steps, I do color corrector, and it takes away so much need for concealer. And I'll have videos linked in the bottom bar. I'll also have my class below. But learning to properly color correct is going to greatly enhance your makeup game. Next up, personally, I feel every woman has a power red whether that be a warm or blue red, and the power purple, <laughs> especially being darker complected, purple lipstick can be just very flattering because it can just appear very natural depending on what tone you use. And it's just very complimentary. Even when it doesn't look natural, it can fit really well. And I'm not talking about those pastel kind of Easter egg purples. I'm talking about deep grape and plum hues and then a power red. And I personally love a warm red. It is so complimentary. It goes great generally with my makeup because I use warmer tones. It's just something that's so empowering. I love red lipstick. It can look good on everybody. I think something that is going to help you come a long way and a tip that's definitely going to enhance your makeup game is to learn how to edit your makeup and learn when not to follow trends. I think it's really, really tempting to do a lot of the things that we see influencers do on Instagram and on YouTube, putting on drops and drops of oil, like a lot of the underpinning, putting a whole bunch of makeup underneath your makeup, like highlighter and contour and then putting foundation on top. A lot of that stuff, it's just too much, honestly. But you really have to be able to look at something and say, you know what, this is not beneficial. Doing it to my face is going to diminish my beauty and not accentuate or magnify and that's what I want to do so I'm not going to do this or I'm just going to take a little portion of that and maybe I'll do that like a glass skin like just highlighter and not over my whole face because that is going to draw a lot of attention to texture and maybe that's not the best thing for me to do you know so just being able to edit your makeup and look at yourself critically all right guys so those are my tips i hope you found something that you can use take what applies and let the rest fly this is just fun ways for me to express my love for makeup and help you guys along the way help you grow your crafts help you you know just get better at dressing your face adorning your face magnifying your beauty with makeup it is one of my favorite skills that i have i love being able to do makeup I love teaching you guys to do makeup. If you love makeup, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, it really helps my video. Hit that bell so you get notifications. And also in the bottom bar, I'll have a link to my first makeup class online. And if you haven't already checked it out, check it out and let me know what you think. And I'm gonna have another class soon. So if you do check it out and you let me know what you think, I'll have to give you like a coupon code or something to my next class. All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye, guys.